yeah good afternoon how are you very good afternoon i'm doing great what about you yes i'm doing well too so how's your day today sunday how's it going two days fantastic okay nice so can you tell me more about yourself yeah myself advocate dressing i am belonging from uttar pradesh but residing in mumbai since 24 years as a professional i am practicing as a advocate but i started my education since 2 years before i was doing as a businessman okay okay you are practicing only from 2 years okay so yeah. why did you shift from having a business to being an advocate a big business are very small and after that i thought we have to do something because my graduation is completely so later hmm okay so are you happy with the decision that you took yeah so happy i am so happy because the i did all the things in my life i am satisfied with my life and my passion okay so so yeah. how come you are so satisfied that i have done so many things in my life what did you do because what happened uh, I am born in Mumbai in nineteen ninety seven, and that time I only completed my twelfth. In two thousand fourteen, I completed. I started again my education okay. after seventeen years gap. Mm. In two thousand nineteen, I completed my LLB degree, and yeah. after that, I thought let's enter in the education. And mm -hmm. when I enter in the education, that time I understood. the value of the english communication because mm -hmm. my entire education completed in hindi medium and mm -hmm. due to that i was unable to understand mm -hmm. what they are speaking in the court and that day i realized how much important is english mm -hmm. because of that i learn and uh, since one month i so curiosity to provide some awareness in the society because one day i was listening on podcast and podcaster was told that what we can support what we can serve to society because we are always some things taking from society from nature yes then we can serve and if you are unable to do the serve for society or nature then you have to think in the depth where you suffer in our life you know what was the things you suffer a lot mm -hmm. i thought that the way of the english communication i suffer a lot then okay. why not spread the awareness in the society english communication is nothing only is the whole language and the misconceptions created by our mind yeah. english is big toss <laughs> we can because reason is that we are getting elder and due to that we feeling so much anxiety and always fear about society and another person if i will do mistake then people will laugh on me this is a big issue and big reason yes even if talk about the children they never fear about the mistake ne never ne never sorry they never fear about the society what will society say then because they are innocent mm -hmm. but we are being smart now if i did mistake then people will laugh on you this is a big reason and big stuff way of the communication skill if you, in this way age people want to learn true yeah i think it is true and many people have this issue that is the reason they are not ready to talk we have right. everything in our mind but we can't talk that is a major right. mm -hmm. so you are quite then, uh, i i want to know i want to start the youtube and what is the reason behind that because somewhere if any we are going to do anything in the life then uh, have a some reason why i am doing like that yeah yeah so you want to know the reason why i am doing youtube yeah because you click the idea when you start the youtube then what you click in the idea yeah, i was uh, working as a trainer on a spoken english platform known as ingtalky 
so from there i got the idea that people are posting conversations and having a youtube channel so that is when i realized that this is possible this one also you can do on youtube because i was thinking of having some career where i can manage both my personal and professional life so finding such an opportunity was quite challenging but after uh, joining as a freelancer then i got this idea that you can have a youtube channel so you might make a little bit of money out of it and you can also have conversations with a lot of people so i thought uh, okay people might learn from my english as well i can learn from other people as well so that is when i started that's how i started youtube great and what was your mode of the academic computer science engineering i was a software engineer the mode, of the, mode of the language mode of the language english ever since my i english. was a child i studied in english medium school so i am in touch with english okay as i saw your video and i you know click on many videos on youtube then i observed that you are communicating with different kinds of people and various kinds of backgrounds people those are different kinds of uh, having the post and what do you feel what is the condition of the society due to english communication i think english has become so mandatory for everybody these days everybody wants to learn english wants to speak english they need it for their job or no that is secondary but it has become a passion for people so it doesn't matter from any part and like any walk of life you are so everybody wants to talk in english these days and it is quite difficult to find a partner to talk in english so youtube is also a, one of those means where people can connect and talk to people so this is kind of online right so they are going to be on youtube so it will give them a different kind of confidence so it will uh, improve their english give an opportunity to interact with different people boost their confidence improve their communication and conversational skills so yeah i think that's what i feel great your initiative and your intention is very great and uh, one more thing i was observing on the youtube people are always blaming blaming the environment and surrounding but if you vision if your vision is clear then you can find the many surrounding people ready to talk with you because the if you want to excuse then you can take a many excuses are there but if you want to improve your communication skill then the, on the platform youtube so many people are there they are so eagerly ready to communicate with you and free of cost yes. and any one can learn the english and language is only myth of our mind nothing else this is my understanding because i am not taking so effort since two years i am only little effort due to little effort i am unable to convey my thought is not smartly not efficiently but i can uh, convey my thought and anyone can understand properly what is the my intention of the communication mode then this is enough for in india because if you want to do any job or uh, write any mail or do any legal activity this is different matter but yes. only intention is that your communication then you can communicate easily if you have effort to one year or six month then you can communicate this is my observation on the social media exactly What that is your right. opinion yeah that is right and nowadays people are not taking it as as a language as a mode of communication it is no longer only that much english has become a lot more for people other people and it also depends on the necessity do they need it only for communicating in the society or if they are into corporate or mnc's they need better english so they will not be satisfied with just manageable english so they have to keep uh, updating themselves learning new things in english so it depends on the necessity of the person also if they are just like you can manage with in your surroundings with manageable english you are able to convey your thoughts and your uh, you know you are happy with that you are content this much english is enough for me so it depends on person to person but if you are a trainer you right. need a good level very good level of english so, right yeah. right because if you want to expert then you have to need good level otherwise the beginner they if you think they about the good level then it be difficult for take a step yeah first many people are advised that if you want to learn something then don't bother about the perfection you have to first start and automatically after few days after few months you understood what was the mistake and how can correct it correct exactly right yeah 
because it's never going to be perfect when you're speaking a language. Even your native language, you can't tell everything perfectly all the time. You will make mistakes in that language as well. So do not aim for perfection. Just keep talking. Right. And what was the, your opinion, where, your tips for uh, society? What do you want to uh, spread the message for winners? Those are want to learn English. And which concept tips they should adopt and uh, improve English communication? I think first they have to learn to understand the language because I know a lot of people who are not uh, at a such a beginner stage that they are not able to understand English as well. So first learn to understand English by watching a lot of content. We have our phones with us all the time. So just learn to understand English first. Simple sentence, there are children's stories. So you can do that. So once you get the hang of it, once you're able to understand English completely, you can go to more complex materials. Then you can start talking to people. First talk to yourself, practice with yourself. Then you can start approaching people and talking to them. You can do reading practice. There is a lot of things that you can do to improve. But first start with daily use sentences and learning what things are called in English. Start thinking in English. So all small steps that you take when you're chatting with somebody, do that in English. All right. Because our mindset is creating the some misconception and fear. Because the if you want to start and take any step, then our mind making a trap. Like don't do that because you are not perfect. If you are doing mistake, then people will laugh on you. People will be criticizing you. The, this is a big problem with our mind. Our mind is also making a trap. And due to that, many people thinking and waiting for the perfection. Mm. And they are unable to take a step. Because of the this thought. Mm, exactly. And in your advocacy, what is your uh, specialization? I am working as a civil matters like uh, uh, banks and all about that. Okay. okay. So how is your professional life? In the advocacy, it's very tough task because there are amounts of work is there as a paper. Yeah. But uh, who is the passionate about that, they can adjust. Because if you are doing advocacy, then you have to involve, emerge yourself 24 hours. Exactly. Because at 10 to 5, we have to expand in the court. And after that, you have to uh, sit in office and uh, talk with the clients and uh, set the, uh, settle the meetings. And uh, again, you have to prepare your bunch of papers and all drops because the advocacy is not, not easy task but who has passionate about that then they can survive it they can serve the society yeah, not it's, easy task it, it's quite demanding it needs a lot of time lot of hard work and patience yes. i think because you get to interact with so many people who do not even know the basics of the court and procedures etc you have to deal with such people on a daily basis it's really challenging. Yeah. It's depend on it's depend on mindset and it's depend on smart how much people are smart. Otherwise, it will take five years, four years. It's depend uh, depend on this person how much he has is smart. Yeah, yeah, and all these law and things it, when it comes to India, it is very, very yeah. Indian law is very broad area. Indian mm -hmm. constitution also very broad. Exactly. You can't control the all entire uh, legal education in the legal. Only one field you can be a master. Yeah, yeah. And there is so much that you have to remember also, right? So you have to have yeah. a lot good memory part to remember the articles and sections, etc. This is not too much difficult, but once you are prepare your uh, uh, content and you file in the court, and that time you have to focus on your related uh, sections and uh, rules. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, you are uh, appearing in the court. That time you can uh, consume their books and you can uh, so, so in the book on the court. It's not any kind mm -hmm. of burden. Okay, okay. So like before every case, I think you, you'll have time to do your research and then put everything neatly yes, yes. in the papers. Because this uh, education is a very lengthy process. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's not easy. Because if you file any case, then it will take five years, 10 years, depend on case. What is the, which kinds of case are there? 
yeah exactly so uh, what about mumbai can you tell me the best and worst thing about mumbai mumbai is my you know is a very big and a smart city and in the mumbai you can easily find the things what you want yeah very accessible things easily but mm -hmm. you talk about the uh, the very costly in the mm -hmm. main mumbai area, it's very mm -hmm. costly mm -hmm. and and all the things and uh, life is so struggle for those are mediocre mm -hmm. because here people only sitting behind the money mm -hmm. somewhere you feel the lack of the emotion in the person every or busy in our task you no know, have to time for support anyone because mm -hmm. if you are working people in a corporate sector or any government sector then you have to visit on the time you mm. can't miss the mumbai lifestyle is so rapid yeah. so rapidly if you are unable to manage then you can't survive exactly even night time yeah. i think yeah. I, it is quite busy even in the night time it's not like 24 it is... hours yes 24 hours you even not uh, no think that is this a night or day yeah, yeah. So, if given a choice, where would you like to settle down? If it is nothing related to your job or something, you don't have to worry about anything. Where would you like to settle down? My 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 willing is that I am settled to Kashi because I am belonging from there. I am also uh, build the uh, houses there, and after three years I will settle there because the my daughter is uh, doing a degree in Mumbai, and because of that I am here. Hmm. So you watch my conversations, right, on YouTube? Yeah, right. So which one was your favorite? Have you ever commented on my videos? I want to video. I commented that in that video you explain the one video. I remember that very vividly. In that video, you are telling that if your why will be strong, then how will be easy? Okay. And then I like too much that video. Hmm. Really, if you. A strong why if you are taking a step with a strong why then automatically you found how how can do that because yeah. your why is very strong exactly you know very well i have to do any how this is a yeah. why reason of the why yes. then how it will be easy then mm -hmm. you are automatically thinking on that and yeah. one more thing i observe and feel that if you have belief then universe will support you Hmm. Belief and hard work as well. Only believing in things will not work. You have to put your yes, yes. Without hard work, it will never. Listen, everywhere is a process. Until you are not following the process, you can't do anything. Yes. In India, you know, one thing is very popular and very easy. Tea. Tea is the very simple things, and every Indians prefer the tea. Yes. It should take only 10 minutes, 20 minutes if you are preparing tasty tea. All ingredients is available in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. Until you are not follow the process, you are putting the, all the ingredients in the one time and within a one minute, you boil the water and you think that taste will there. Never ever. Because there are also process. It will take 5 to 10 minutes being in the taste. Then without process, we can't achieve, you can't learn, you can't accomplish. Then this is a universal law. Yes. If you observe that child take time from grown up, degree take time, three years, five years. Mm -hmm. And the human being, as a human being, the innate nature is that they have not patience. Nowadays, they are lacking up the patience. They want to very rapid result. They want to shortcut. And shortcut never ever will adjust in, exist in the life. And this is my opinion, my personal opinion. Because you are, if you are adapting the shortcut, then definitely you will miss somewhere. Yeah. And that will be short-lived also. Yeah, I totally agree. That will be short-lived. You, you just check the construction works that are going on these days. They take shortcut and try to, you know, uh, make it rapid and do. It doesn't last for a long time. 
there is no shortcut yes. you have yes. to complete the course yes. you have to take time yeah time time yeah, if you are construction doing construction on any buildings very quick mm. two month three month then definitely uh, after some years it will collapse because yeah. you hadn't followed the process because of this some error were there yes true <laughs> Okay, so anything else before we wind up the session? Yes, sure. You want I want to also you have to reveal your journey, how you become so uh, popular on the YouTube and uh, what was the hard work behind that and uh, how which kinds of complexity you face on the YouTube. You are creating the content and uh, how you are getting new idea and uh, what was the complexity in the YouTube which you failed? While I started, before starting YouTube, I did not know the ABCD of it. Only just watching the videos, that's all. But once you start thinking on how to start a YouTube channel, it's not easy. Sometimes you need a system. Sometimes things can happen over mobile. Sometimes you have network issues. There are a lot of issues and I'm not a technical person at all. So it took a lot of effort for me to start a YouTube channel and learn how to upload videos, how to do your research. So there is a process how to add description, tags. So I had to learn all of that. And after starting uploading, see, YouTube is like you put quality content and people are going to support you. Because every day I have so many choices why they will watch your video if you're not updating yourself, not providing any uh, value or they need new stuff all the time. There are new people doing this. They will go watch their videos. They won't be interested in watching yours. So it is difficult to keep the uh, people glued to your videos and loyal to your videos. So that is one big challenge. And another thing, you have to be consistent. If you are sick and you don't upload for 10 days. So on my channel, I follow this protocol of uploading every single day. So that is very challenging to do it every single day because you have editing to do. And these are conversational videos. They are quite long. You'll have to do editing. Then people need subtitles. So you have to buy subscription of somewhere else and add subtitles. Uh, you have to make thumbnails. So it is quite a lengthy process. And uploading every single day is a challenge in itself. If you take a break, people are not going to be consistent in watching your videos again. It will take a lot of yeah. time. And even the money is negligible. So it can be for people who are okay and content. They don't need too much, but they love what they do. Or it also depends on the niche because people, you'd see any entertainment channel, singing, dancing or something like that, vlogs, they have so much traffic. But for educational content, English, we don't have so much uh, people interested in that. But why I started right. it? Because I felt I was good at it and I had a knowledge about it. If I go to do something just because it has more traffic and I'm not good in it, I'm going to fail. So that is why I started right. this niche and... Uh, why I'm popular, I have no idea. People like, and I think, I guess I'm lucky. And also I've been consistent on YouTube so far. So I think so. so what happens if you are doing consistently any task, then automatically it will be converted in the result. And your consistency, you are dedicated to our task. And then definitely I just discuss, Universal will support you because Universal know what you are doing. Because you want to improve ourselves as well as improve to the society. You are spreading the awareness for society. You can learn. You can speak. Yeah. But you have to take a step. There are few process. Follow that and improve your English communication. But nowadays, people are not patience here. Yes. They have yes. lack of the patience. They can watch the video 30 seconds. And because of that, short are being so popular. Yeah. They exactly. never want to stay 20 minutes until final of the communication, final of the conversation. What was the message? What is the message in the communication? Why booth are communicating since 20 minutes? How mm -hmm. can get from there? These types of patience is not there. Mm -hmm. And due to that, they are not improving ourselves. They are wasting our time. They are draining the time. Two hours, they can drain the time two hours for searching and watching the unnecessary things 
those are 30 minutes they want to stand gratification mm -hmm. and due to stand gratification they are getting nothing this is a big problem of the people nowadays because they are facing difficulty lack of the awareness and lack of the patience mm -hmm. this is and my that... observation yeah yeah and people have to be prepared it's like I get mails that I lost my job because of English. Can you help me to improve fast? So it, it cannot, it will not happen overnight. You have to take precautions yeah. even be, before you're in that stage that the English becomes so important to you. Keep yourself prepared from your college days. If it is re really important for you, you have to have patience. And if you have not, see many people think I want to learn English, I'm not improving. So I'll just tell one thing. If you want to do something and you still have not achieved it, it means you're not giving it your 100%. That is simple. And everybody will agree to this. They can ask themselves yeah. this question. that I, Am I giving it 100%? If they are giving, definitely yeah. they will find improvement. Yeah. And one more thing. If you see my YouTube channel, and there were many people are there. They are more than 65 years. And one guy is belonging from Karnataka. Uh, the lady is uh, 84 years. You know, uh, cafe coffee day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the cafe coffee day's founder's mother, we communicate with her and she told that if you want to do, then you can do. I am also communicating with her and she revealed the actual truth. Then you understood. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Lovely talking to you. Quite a mature Thank person. You. So, it was really nice really talking nice. Nice to meet you. Me too. Bye-bye. Bye.